Okay, so we're going to tie uh, the other wolf from the wolf pack. So previously you'll have seen me tie the grey wolf using the uh, grizzle hackles, the natural squirrel uh, and the grey polypropylene yarn. So this time around we're going to use the yellow squirrel. We're going to use the olive antron that we got and we're going to use our olive hackles. So this is going to give us a more uh, like a green May version. Uh, so the grey wolf would probably be something that you might fish later on in the day uh, when you're getting those sort of spent type coloured flies coming down whereas when the greens are coming off then you would use this fly. So, or put both of them on the one cast. That works too. So previously what we did was uh, we tied the fly with a more regimented uh, squirrel tail and wing. So we'll maybe go with a little bit less so on this one just so that you see the different uh, styles. So I'm going to use gel spun to tie this but use whatever thread you have to hand. So I'd, you could probably use anything in the green, yellow, uh, black, uh, even white as I'm using here uh, color scheme and I'm just going to give it a flick of varnish just to make sure that it's a little bit more adhered to the hook because uh, squirrel is something that's not overly compressible so I think it's important to have a good base uh, to stop the whole thing spinning so, uh, previously we used the hair stacker, so we're not going to do that, we're just going to take bunches direct off. So the original wolves actually were quite uh, messy, I suppose, in a certain way. So what I'm going to do here, this happens to be the tip of the squirrel tail here, so we're going to take some of these tip fibres here, I'm going to use these for the tail. So I'm going to create like a more wispy sort of a tail with that. So we'll just cut a bunch off. And we will apply that up as our tail. So I'm going to put a couple of wraps onto it and then we're going to have a look at what it's like for length. So, as I said, uh, when you're doing this, the tamped ones, the hair stacked ones, you could probably go with a very short tail. And in fact, I've seen some wolves that are very, very, very stumpy. Um, but given that we're tying mayflies again, I would probably err on a slightly longer tail. So this may not be a style that you're 100% uh, used to seeing, but uh, I said you can sort of compare the two and see what suits you. Pick the styles, pick the materials that uh, that you would like to use in your own creation. So, uh, having put the tail on, next we're going to move to the wing again, so we're going to put the wing in place. Uh, so I'm going to take off a bunch of our squirrel here. So you'll have to sort of get a feel for yourself of how much is enough and how much is too much. Um, if you take too much off, then the thickness of it can make it quite difficult uh, to tie the fly because it will build the thickness of the body uh, and it also will tend to twist more if it's very thick. So I'll take that off. I'm just going to grab it by the tips and I'm going to give it a flick and get rid of any of the very short under fur that might be there. So again we transfer our hands, take our tying thread up to where we're going to tie it in. So this time uh, I'm going to leave them pointing out a little bit more at the front so I'm going to travel a little bit further forward than what I did with the, uh, the grey. And I'm going to set that up I'm going to make them maybe uh, one and a bit body lengths. So I'm going to start to tighten that up. I'm keeping my thread tight and I'm holding my bunch of the base of them up as I wrap back. That'll keep it on top of the shank. So now, as we did in the other video, we're going to cut at an well. We're going to cut the scissors straight, but the uh, base of these held up at an angle slightly, and that will give us. A bit of a taper into the cut 
and therefore allow us a tapered body. So I would do this part of it, the the laying in of the of the wings, uh, the same. Even though you're doing the tips of them different, the bases of them are the same to create this uh, tapered body. So if we wrap over that, as I said, I put a little bit of varnish into that just to secure the whole thing as I wrap it down. So I'm wrapping into the wet material basically, and you can see there that it has. created this neat tapered body, stroke under, under body. So now we're going to choose the shape of our wing. So I'm just going to slip this up onto the top, make sure it's straightened up, and then we're going to splay it again. So we're going to splay it forward, we're going to splay it out, and we're going to split it. So just by eye gauge the what half and half. I think that's us now. And then I'm just going to, with this one, do the figure of eight between. Several of them, that'll keep them apart. But in this one, I'm not going to wrap the individual wings. So I'm going to leave them more splayed out. So take our tie and thread down to the back here and we're going to take our Antron body yarn This one we're going to do a rib as well. So also included in the pack was a spool of glow bright. This is a number 11 which is like a neon yellow. So we're going to take a length of that out. I set it across the top of the shank and then the first turn sort of takes it across and over to the far side and then I'm going to wrap this forward up the shank. As I said our wings are still playable and you know that we can choose uh, what direction so you can pull them forward out of the way. Now we're going to take the Antron here and again with this one I'm going to split it so we'll take the two ends of it and pull it apart into two bunches because I'm going to wrap backwards here and then I'm going to bring it forward again. So this is a double layer so we don't want to be overly thick. It's just a little bit awkward with the uh, long loose end there but you'll work around it. Trim that off, and then we're going to take our Antron and wrap back down. Try and keep it flat and splayed out there rather than allowing it to twist. If you allow it to twist up, then it'll obviously get more thicker and uh, it will create an uneven but possibly segmented look. So that Antron's making a very nice sort of sh almost shiny um, just the way it's knitting into itself it's very lifelike sort of looking so I said uh, we're going to put a rib on it, but you could also tie the fly totally without a rib, like you just put the, the straight uh, body on there. 
or rivet with wire, rivet with gold, rivet with whatever, whatever you have. There are other materials and you will have some of them in your previous packs and also there will be future packs. Uh, so when you can always revisit the patterns from a particular pack whenever you have new materials to hand and mix and match them. So tied that rib in, flipped it back on itself and tied over that and therefore it's not going to pull out. So hackle. Let's have a look again we have a good bunch of high quality hackles here we're just going to look through them and pick one for size. So as I said we have hackles in here that uh, would tie a much bigger fly so you'd be up into maybe an eight or so with that so we also have hackles that'll tie a smaller fly and here I think we're all right for So, if we take this hackle, in the previous video uh, on the, the grey, I tied the hackle in a, the back and I wrapped forward and I tied it off at the front, whereas in this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it backwards and tie it off at the back. So I've tied it in at the front pointing forwards. Now this technique will also allow you to end up with a, maybe a smaller, neater head. All of our fibres just got in the way there, so we're just going to pull them out and get our... So I'm taking my thread to the rear of where the hackle is going to be. The idea is wrap back and then wrap through. So, I'm just going to take the wings and hold them out of the road. So the first turn is always the most difficult and here we're going to perhaps heavier hackle this one than uh, we did the previous one. As I said we're showing a variety of styles so things just to play with yourself. So said we've got the most of that hackle on so I'm just going to come across it at the back and then I'm going to start to wrap through the hackle. So you can see I'm sort of wiggling my tie and thread as I go and that way we are not catching down any fibers but we're crossing across every wrap of hackle that we went back. So even if a little bit of it gives there still should be some of it tied down. We then nick off our hackle at the back there. Check our wings. And now we're at the front, I'm just going to hold it all back. I've come across the front, so I'm just going to create a little head. Cut that off and varnish it, and that is our green wolf tied. So, as you can see with this one, uh, where did I set our other one? So, this was the previous fly that we tied. So, you can see that we have a much more regimented shape with the wings. Uh, and as I said, we could have done that with this style as well. Whereas, I tend to prefer say, it that little bit more messy looking. So, these wings are not bound down um, but you can see here we have that more splayed uh, flared sorry look uh, if you wanted you could also have had those completely out the front so all the hackling went behind the uh, the wings which would allow you to have them pointing straight out some people like that as well to me uh, that I've never seen a mayfly where the wings pointed fo totally forwards um, but that uh, doesn't mean that wolves don't catch a lot of a lot of fish um, but I would personally have them uh, more upright 
uh, than that. So that is our flight. We're just going to put a little bit of varnish onto the head and then we can use uh, the remnant of the haggle and just pop it through the eye and clear it out and that's it. So that is our green wolf tied, as I said, in a slightly different style to the, the previous one. Um, so check out the other video. Uh, and as I said, I'm going to have a little bit of a play with it. We'll see. I, I'm going to take one of the dubbings that I had from a previous pack and we'll do a, we'll do a different green may with that. Uh, so check out the other ones and take lines.